It's one of these crazy events. This is Pebble Weekend, and uh, they all get going on Friday with an event called Quail. Through there, you have, the tickets are about $500, and they go in an instant. And once you go through there, it's just this magical layout of the best classic cars. There are, I'd say the world, I'm going to say America, but it's really the world. You can dine, all sorts of restaurants around, drinks. It's just one giant party with a bit of an automotive theme, with the best of the best. And uh, it's my favorite event. It's, it's like a condensed Goodwood, uh, but just superstar. Anyway, I'll take you around, let's go in. Supercars. Cars representing cutting edge street performance respected to their era and making an ultimate manufacturer statement as this is You see it's pretty tiny in here, but um, every car is exquisite. They are absolutely the best of the best. And uh, McLaren have launched an Air X1 here. This major thing, they've, it's a one-off done for an owner. Um, he wanted something that was timelessly elegant and something you could drive to the opera in. It looks peculiar in the photographs, just to go and see what it looks like in the carbon. Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> Can't believe this movie, uh, people ram the stand just because you're never going to see it again. This is it's going to be its only time it's actually shown, shown in public. So what to say? What are the drive to offer? Amazing thing. So, Bob, what a fantastic result. Bob deserves a gorgeous motor car. We're going to enjoy it now. The most amazing thing to me is McLaren made it. It's so un-McLaren. McLaren's always been about F1, racing, circuit days. And here we have something he wants to drive to the opera in. And he chose a 12C tub to do it in. So I hats off to McLaren for making it. Quite what I make of it, I'm not sure. It is unique though, and I love that about it. I have to show you this car, just amazing, it's here, I heard rumours it was here. This is the oldest Ferrari in existence, chassis number 002. And it's owned by Jimmy who did the uh, P45 Competizione, the sort of special bodied Enzo that he then raced at the North Slide. Um, came 14th in that race, but he's, he's just told me he's going to take it back to the Northside 29th September because if he completes that race, he wins the FIA Championship for alternative vehicle cars. But he loves driving cars, so he's just done the Targa Florio um, sort of tribute in this car. I mean, priceless. I mean, Lord knows what the oldest Ferrari in the world, what's that worth? But what a car. Thanks, Jim. Take care. Lord knows what that thing handles like. Not very well, I should imagine. Yeah, everyone's in a state of shock and he actually got in here. The Ferraris are pretty special though. Grufo, but if you see this many together in a variation, they are pretty special. And have you ever seen a sort of bonnet hump like this to get air in? That chap, his vision. Like, like most people just do a redesign because basically the engine does not fit under that hood, so they've just sort of added an extension. Um, it's like doing a loft extension on your house, but no, they've done it on the bonnet. Enjoy having so much fun with this. A lot of fun. 
carpet structures moved on a long way since then. Just love those. This UK version of the e in the world. It has Thank to be you. one of my favourite. And this is my favourite colour with a favourite Boldo interior. Just love this. <laughs> Seventy-two. He said, "Grifo." Oh, they're the same age as a cut. They just issued every designer in 1970 with rule, as far as I can see. They're going to design a car with that straight edges, no curves. One of the unique things of Quail is once you bought the ticket, food and drinks are free. So you go up to this bar, get you a bottle of wine. <laughs> And I'm wandering here, pick up your food. Some of them, you have to listen to everyone seems to have a band with theirs, which is slightly unfortunate, but there's plenty of tables miles away, so you don't have to listen to it too loud. One of the things they do here at Quail, which is unique, is they actually bring the race car down from Laguna Seca. They're just about to set off with a police escort on the road. It's about a 20 minute trip up, up the main road, back to the racetrack. It's a crazy event. I'll just go over and show you something completely different. Pinaferino actually wanted to put his name to that, the forward control Fiat 600. Another unique thing at Quayo is they have these auto jumbles with the most incredible parts. There's a um, Fer created Ferrari 275 engine over there, and then some of the parts and the prices 
just take your breath away. Have a look at this. Two carburettors for the 750 Monza Ferrari, $35,000. Yeah, I've just asked for about the engine, um, it's actually a 250 engine and $125,000. Beats sort of the scrapyards we get in the UK, doesn't it? Keep been drawing to this Miura. Uh, they're rare cars, and you see the fuss made over Ferrari, and they're always made in well, almost ten times the numbers. But this is, for me, the most beautiful car here, especially in this colour, verdi green. Although I'm quite taken by this red one over here, you might know it. Contest. Yeah, I wonder where he got that idea from. It does look nice. Um, I like the lighter interior, but uh, this is, as far as I can see, a perfect Countach QV. They were okay when they came out of the factory, but they weren't that good. Fantastic, and still a bargain today. Italian car enthusiast who called themselves Anonymo Lombardia, Fabrica Automobile. They quietly Italian factory of Durac, decided building cars in the Port District of Milan. This latest is one of the Italian building nine Alfa Romeo 6C2500 Coupe, owned by Paul and Nicole California. This is one of 13 touring by the Super Gem. Just his philosophy is to keep like the, the 911, how it continues to develop. And it would just be amazing to see where this car reaches and say, five years' time, it's got to this stage, over a thousand horsepower. Um, a proper hypercar in all. In so all thank ways. you very much, Bob Allen and Cole. Here's a fine example of one. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Great winners. Wonderful. Thirty-seven dollar LG forty-five R. Very California. So congratulations, Nick. Good-looking car. And although it's supposed to put the driving experience above creature companies, you look fairly comfortable in there. <laughs> This car was one of the first to be built with the more powerful original 6924 cam, the only example ever. And here they're all the prize winners all in a row. The best of the best. 500 dollars I know worth every single dollar cent penny euro must must do event and it's the hors d'oeuvre tonight as the auctions at RM auction and uh, yeah you can sort of see how you sort of build up the, the red mist to put the big bids in when you go to an event like this. I sign off for a bit of modern carbon fibre Lamborghini SUV what a design this is Lamborghini had to bring the Sesto Elemento along. 2.2 million. Um, got 
owners in um, in America lining up to buy it. They're just going to get it through the legislators. Apparently, it's proven a little bit tougher than they really wanted. They've rebodied McGatty behind me. Yes, a straight eight engine.